everyone, and welcome to Snackbox, an IT Club podcast where a student guest comes each week to discuss what's on his or her mind. This is your host, Mr. Cloud. Okay, welcome everybody to episode two of Snackbox, and as we promised last week. Today we have a very special VIP guest. Today, it is the VIP member of the IT club because she's the only female in our club, and she is okay with being not okay. I have no idea what that means, but here we have Grace. Yay! Thank you for joining us, Grace.、Uh, last week, DK was on the show for episode one to discuss his insecurities. And various embarrassing moments that were just traumatizing him. Did you listen to the show? Well, yeah, because we were kind of forced to listen because we're in the IT club. So.、Uh, oh, okay. Well, our listeners didn't need to know that. But so, so,、um, what's on your mind today?、Uh, I feel a little depressed sometimes these days. I don't really care much about a lot of things, mostly because I'm tired. And overall, many things just keep bugging me. Well, what kind of things are bugging you? Um, the fact that sometimes CK is faster than me at walking. He arrives before almost every class. Sometimes I just want to maim him somehow so that I can get there faster. <laughs> Today I actually grabbed his hood to prevent him from running, but the problem is that his hood is on his back, and I was grabbing his hood, so he still got there faster than me. Why is it so important that you arrive faster? Um, because whenever I am slower than him, DK says I'm faster than you. Oh, okay, because he mocks you. He does. And, and, and you know, okay, and he makes fun of you. Hey, you poor boy. Okay, can you stop walking around in the studio right now? We have a very poor homeless boy,、uh, Sean, who is just wandering aimlessly and distracting both the host and the guest. So you know, try to act normal, Sean. Are there things that bug you on a daily basis? Being in Korean American living in Korea sometimes gives me culture issues that take me by surprise. Okay, I can relate to some of that. You know, being a Korean American myself. What would you say are some examples of、uh, these Korean American issues?、Uh, so every time I say no, like they say, no pa ba mogoji, aji ga mogoji, and I say anyo, then they say mogoso, anyo, am mogoso, anyo, mogoso. <laughs> <laughs> And then I just end it with "anyo amogoso." Oh, so it's it's because in English they would say they would ask you haven't eaten yet, and you would answer no to mean like no you haven't eaten. Right. Right. Oh, but in Korean, if you say "anyo," that actually indicates like no. I、oh, okay. I confused myself there totally. <laughs> okay, continue. So I ask Sean and Gia because they are from America. How do you answer when asked "no papa mochi," but your answer is no? They said that they respond "anyo amogosoyo," Korean American problems, am I right? And how do you pronounce that? Pochintan. Yeah, that is the word.、Uh, the stew that Korean people use to eat and also utilize dogs as the main, or should I say, only protein. Now that I think about it, is it good? I don't know. Why? Why would you ask me? How? How would I know? Uh, because you're old. I am heartbroken, Grace. Heartbroken. The, I think the only people that really eat that are like the old harabujis living in like Shigol area. Yeah, you'll become a harabuji one day.、Uh, all right, I am. I am totally heartbroken now. Now that I think about it, Korean people eat a lot of weird things, like blood sausage and pig intestines. Hey, we had some today, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. We had some sundae today. It sounds horrible in English, but it actually is really good and is one of my favorite Korean foods. I also eat chicken feet. I've never had it myself, but I was warned that it's very spicy. I really love pig feet, which is pork but better to me. Oh, so you've had chokbal, but、yeah. you've never had takbal、no. before. Oh, okay. Well, I've had takbal. It is it is super spicy.、Uh, I can't really handle spicy food well. And on one of my first nights in Korea, they took me out to some takbal, and then it totally like I was crying. Can you stop looming over us like some kind of evil overlord, Sean? Just sit there. We, we don't. We don't care. Just sit there like a normal person. Yes. Yeah. Right, that's. Continue. People have so many tutors and go to so many academies. I mean, like, I don't even understand it. 
in the end, the child grows into an adult and has one major job. I see no reason to go to several different places to learn things that some of it has nothing to do with you in the future. For me, weekends are the days that I wake up at 12 o'clock, skip breakfast, and just deliver food to my house. Mm. For Korean kids, wake up at 8 o'clock and are ready to get out to study. Maybe that's why they're so smart and are so good at math. This is also why I don't have anyone to play with. See, if I was a kid, I would have been the kid that plays alone in the playground by herself. Oh, so you'd be like Sean, basically. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. That is so true, you know? Uh, all right. Yeah, I think this is a great time to take a quick break and listen to a word from our sponsors. We'll be right back. I want some ice cream. What is too cold? Have you ever wondered why ice cream always has to be cold? Why can't we have hot ice cream? Look no further. DK's hottest cream helps you look extremely peculiar and makes your self-esteem go through the roof. Enjoy three special flavors of hottest cream, jalapeno peppers, Elmer's glue, and salmon. Watch out, this ice cream is hot. And we are back. So uh, in part one, you described all these things that are sort of uh, giving you cultural difference issues. Uh, I, I imagine it gives you a lot of stress. Uh, how do you cope with stress? Um, I scream as long as I can, and then I lose my voice eventually. And the next day, all the teachers are wondering why I sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> I also avoid any human contact because... Uh, does that work out for humans. you? No. Oh, <laughs> you still end up being stressed. Yeah, because oh. I'm usually a really talkative person. Right. And I act like an introvert. Uh-huh. But you're not really? You feel more like, a, like, like an extrovert? Uh, no, I think I'm in between. Oh, okay. I'm actually like the same way. A lot of people think um, I'm very extroverted, but um, you know, I go home to my lonely corner and then I just cry by myself and then um, I don't really talk to people. So it takes a lot out of me to like approach someone to talk to them. So. Yeah, I can relate. Yeah. All right, so um, let's talk about some positives. What's something awesome that happened to you recently? If I had to say something, it would be that I learned that loving my brother is something I suck at. Oh, no. I learned this at age two, so this is not something new. What? Timothy is such a sweet little boy. Oh, my goodness. I think you should treat him more nicely. He's like a cute teddy bear, basically. What's something you're really proud of right now? I'm so proud that I defeated Josh more than once in life. Just in general, I was born before him. I'll always be more educated than him. Oh, my. I have... Better manners, and I will always have more etiquette than him. Well, why is it important to you that you beat Josh in everything? Uh, because it's Josh. Oh, all right. That, that makes sense. Uh, what are some things you like listening to? I like listening to good music. Like, what kind of music is good music? Good music. <laughs> okay. Who would you like to see on this show, and why? I'd That's like okay. to see other teachers on the show sharing their stories. I think it'd be intriguing. Uh, do you have any messages to our listeners? Uh, assuming we have any? Oh, ouch. That, that hurts. Hi. And there you have it. Wow, thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, this is a good time to pause for some listener feedback because, as you know, every week we're just uh, flooded with listener feedback. And uh, here we have one from Mr. John. Thank you for writing to us, Mr. John. Hello, JCS podcast hosts. Thank you for sharing your episode with me. I was sorry to hear about all of DK's recent troubles. I can identify with some, but not all of them. Once, when I was in fifth grade, our school had a crazy hair day. I decided it'd be a good idea to put enough hair gel on my head to have not one, but two horns, one on the top of my head and one in the back of my head, so I looked like a confused unicorn. But my mistake was doing all this before I got on the public transportation. So it's <laughs> fair to say that I can sympathize with DK's recent troubles with the girls giggling at him. Wow. <laughs> okay. The podcast was well put together. The audio was clear. And I give a hearty congratulations for the success inaugural episode. Wow. Thank you so much for for a wonderful message and a feedback to our first episode. 
Uh, thank you again, Mr. John. How did you get him to write to us? I had to beg. And I have no pride, so, you know, That's it's okay. Sad. It's very sad, but, you know. If anybody listening right now, all probably two of you, uh, if you want to get in touch with us, then you can reach us by email at cast at junipercs.org. Once again, that is cast, C-A-S-T, at junipercs.org. You can write to me or to the guest about any questions, comments, or anything you want to get off your chest. That would certainly mean a lot to us. All right, and that wraps up our episode two. How do you feel, Grace? I feel better. Yeah? Okay. Well, it's not so bad after all, right? I don't think you were very nervous or uh, scared, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Thank you so much, everybody, for listening to us until the end. Uh, I don't know why you're still listening to us, but there you are. And next week, we also have a great guest, very funny guy. He's sort of uh, looking over at us right now. Please get away, social distancing. Uh, yes, it is Sean, and we will listen to him for episode three. Thank you, everybody, and that w- that was Snackbox from Mr. Cloud and Grace. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.